Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. I'm uh, sitting here in my car. I'm going to be here for a little bit. So I thought I would do the full show preview of the upcoming WWE Money in the Bank 2018 show. Um, this looks like it's going to be a good entertaining show where they mix both brands. If you can remember last year, um, SmackDown had the exclusive on the Money in the Bank where basically Baron Corbin and Carmella uh, won the Money in the Bank contracts. I know that uh, Baron Corbin didn't hold on to his all that long, tried to cash it in before SummerSlam. Didn't work out all that well for Baron Corbin. Um, but uh, Carmella was able to hold hers until WrestleMania weekend, um, where she cashed in against Charlotte to become the Women's Championship. Um, there were some small things that went on with Carmella, where basically a lot of people at WrestleMania thought that Carmella um, was going to cash in, and uh, she would, um, you know, basically jump ship, uh, basically cashing in on the Monday Night Raw brand, where she would basically switch brands, uh, basically trying to tie in that there is no rules uh, really officiated with the... Um, Money in the Bank briefcase uh, ended up not happening, but uh, you never know what's going to happen. But this right here is going to be pretty fun. That basically it is not brand exclusive this year. Uh, anybody can do it. The Money in the Bank basically is the kickoff um, to the summer for WWE. It is the, the, the what lays the groundwork for SummerSlam. Um, the Money in the Bank basically makes a lot of the pay-per-views fun from here on out for the one factor is no matter what the main event is on any show um and especially now with the women having their own money in the bank um it is it is going to be um you know no matter where that match is on the card you always have to be wondering where the person with the briefcase is how they play into the feud that is going on have they had any interactions um you know how is this going to pan out um uh, for the future. So this is going to be really fun. For, for one reason or another, I have not watched the last two Money in the Bank shows. I don't think I've ever even seen them. I watched um, the SmackDown makeup Money in the Bank uh, women's ladder match last year when I was on vacation. I was able to see that one, but I know that uh, on the 12th, I'm going to be uh, sitting my butt down on the couch to watch this one. It looks like it's going to be a very entertaining show with those both Money in the Bank matches. Um, as well as, you know, one of my favorite tag teams, Luke Gallows and Machine Gun Carl Anderson. Um, since Jumping Brands, they've got really a fresh coat of paint on them. They're going after the uh, SmackDown Tag Team Championships, um, taking on the Bludgeon Brothers. Uh, you've also got uh, Jinder Mahal versus Roman Reigns. That's a match that honestly, even though it's not going to be the main event, even though it's not going to be, um, you know, a championship match, it's probably a match that a lot of people are going to throw some shade at, basically saying that they don't really care about it. And I completely understand um, why they wouldn't. Um, Carmella is going to be defending her championship against Asuka. This is definitely going to be one of her most um, hard tasks uh, since becoming the champion. She was able to, to win the rematch on the last pay-per-view, I believe, Backlash. Um by uh, taking out Charlotte's knee. Um, that was a real wrestling match with a clean finish. How she's going to be able to defeat Asuka. Um, we'll have to see how that pans out. Um, there's no Brock Lesnar. So there will be no WWE Championship. But we do have AJ Styles um, taking on uh, Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE Championship. This will be the fifth match that they've had in WWE. This is going to be their fourth championship match. I believe in four pay-per-views since WrestleMania. Um, I think that there's a feel out there where basically people are hoping that they have a good um, entertaining match, but I think that a lot of people are at the point now where we've seen this enough, they've screwed us enough, having bad finishes, that they're bad finishes, that we don't care how good that Wrestle Kingdom match is, I don't think a lot of people are really pumped to see this. Hopefully they can go out there, they can give us a good show-stealing uh, match, and that'll be something that people, you know, win over, and they'll be able to sort of forgive them for, uh, for their uh, their past matches and, and know that it, it's not the wrestler's fault. They just have to basically go out there and do what they're told. Um, so we'll be, see how that pays out. This is going to be a good pay-per-view, guys. We're going to talk about all the matches um, here coming up. So uh, stick tuned, and uh, we'll see what goes on from here.